Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about some fuel tanks today. Something that a lot of us, it's, it's frustrating. It seems like every time something new comes out as far as like a fuel jug goes, it works worse than the previous one did. And, you know, I remember back in the 80s, back in the 90s even, buying these fuel tanks and, you know, 20 years later, they're still working. They, you know, might leak a little, very, very little. Now you buy one. You're lucky if it lasts a year or two. The plastic starts falling apart. But, you know, it takes you 20 minutes to put five gallons in something. And I ran across these fuel jugs on Amazon. I've seen them at Rural King, a couple of the, you know, different box stores. And I ended up buying one. And I got this one. It was uh, it was better, but it did have some drawbacks. The main thing, and it's empty right now, so I can lift it with one hand. But you, know, you can hold five and a half, a little more than five and a half gallons in these, really. And you would take the uh, the end off of it. Yeah, it's not gonna let me do it with uh, one hand. Well, it's empty. I'm just kind of kind of showing right now so it shouldn't matter but uh, you would screw this end off of it put it in there problem is you're holding up five and a half gallons straight up and if you would try to bend it the line kinks and the fuel doesn't want to come out so it worked a little better but I got to that and I'm like well shoot I thought I'd finally found something that solved the problem so asking around, I actually saw a guy who had several of these in his back truck, back of his truck one day, and I commented to him, I'm like, you know, what do you, uh, have you figured out a solution? There's got to be something. And he said, yeah. And he turned me on to these. I just got a uh, order of these in off of Amazon, and I'm going to put a couple links down to the bottom. So the first one that I got was this right here and it had a little 90 with it too and it had a shutoff valve so it made it easier but with that 90 basically you could put it in it didn't uh it didn't kink the hose walked out to the barn about a week later and it was broke i don't know what happened so i ordered some more i just got them in i ordered a four pack was about the price of uh two and they have this little little 90 that you put on there and it's they're they're great. You just uh, these screw right out. These screw right in. If I can do this one-handed. There we go. So they screw right in. You got the ninety. So, you know, if you've got, depending on your tractor, you know, you got five and a half gallons, which, you know, it's a lot of weight to, like, hold straight up. You can take it, rest it, in this case, the tire, some of the other ones, I would actually rest it on the hood. And, uh, you know, get your line going in there, open up your valve. You got kind of a little uh, a little vent here you can open and close with these jugs and once you do that these things are great this is probably one of the best solutions I found in a while now the only downside so far other than the one you know broke pretty quick I got these other ones we're gonna see how they uh, last is I ordered a four pack and the main thing I wanted was this 90 which I'll actually use the original hose for it uh, with the 90s because it would work but having that shutoff valve is so much nicer you know to keep from having a mess i got a four pack but there was only one 90. so there are other places where you can buy just the 90s and i'm going to put a link to those a link to the fuel can uh everything here but uh just want to kind of tell you guys about it if you've looked at these if you haven't seen these and you're basically just frustrated as hell because every time you buy one of these diesel or gas cans and you try to put it in and you know it puts uh 
you know, maybe a teaspoon of fuel in and you got to rock it back and forth and you're standing there forever. Yeah, these are quick. These load really quick. This is the best setup. Once you get the little 90 and the shutoff valve, this is the best setup that I've run across in a while. And I'm probably going to be ordering quite a few more of these now. Plus, when I'm hauling fuel in the truck back and forth from the gas station, they, uh, they don't tip over, they don't leak in the truck. Uh, it's, it's a great setup. So uh, definitely worth considering. And uh, one thing I see, you know, talking about fuel, uh, I see this asked numerous times on Facebook. So I'm going to throw it on this, this video as well. When you go to the gas station and you see the red dyed farm diesel, it is the same diesel as the other diesel. It just has dye for tax reasons. You don't want to put it in your car. You don't want to put it in your truck. But if your farm and you're not driving on the road and it's farming purposes, there is no difference in that diesel whatsoever. It's not going to hurt your engine. I see it asked a million times, but just wanted to throw that in there too. But mainly, you know, I'm talking about these fuel tanks. Pretty soon you're going to be seeing a lot of red ones and a lot of yellow ones here. Uh, the crazy thing is when I got this though, it had a little sticker on it that said not to be used for oil or fuel, which, you know, it's kind of weird. You would sell a fuel tank for and not want to put fuel in it, but it works. I've been using these a couple weeks now and uh, I love them. So if you're interested, links again are at the bottom of the page in the comments section. If you enjoy the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Liking the page, uh, subscribing to the page, maybe leaving us a comment. Our email is also on the page under the About section. And always uh, happy to answer any questions, whether it, you know, just a comment or, you know, send me an email. Uh, always happy to help somebody out. And uh, you're helping me out too, subscribing and uh, sharing these videos because it helps the page grow. And, uh, you know, kind of gives us some validation that, you know, hey, somebody uh, is actually uh, helped by this, which, you know, I've been running around a farm now for 50 some years, running tractors for probably 40 some years. So, uh, you know, I've learned the, uh, the way to do it, probably learned the wrong way to do it and then learned uh, the right way. And a lot of things I'm probably still doing the wrong way, but uh, I always... Uh, I see a lot of new people getting into homesteading or going out buying a farm and yeah, they got questions. They don't know how to use a tractor. They don't know simple stuff like gas, what seems simple to me, like, you know, gas tanks or, you know, how to use a brush hog. And so I'm trying to make some more of these videos on different stuff with uh, tractors to, to help others. And uh, hopefully I'm helping you. Till next time, it's Matt with McGee Farms. Have a great day.